March 1st, 1927, a star was born in Harlem. Harold George Belafonte Jr., the son of Jamaican immigrants. He was blessed with all the right stuff, good looks, great voice, smooth moves, and a sense of charisma and confidence that would help make him an iconic star. Mr. Belafonte has blazed a trail for generations of black entertainers. And on a special night in New York, a who's who of black stars of stage and screen celebrated Mr. Belafonte and his remarkable 95th birthday. I think that one of the things that young soldiers, old soldiers should take is humility increases your ability. And to me, Harry Belafonte is one of the most humble guys I've ever met. I've been blessed to have that time with the man, like real time. You know what I mean? Not just at events. So it was just us sitting down, breaking bread, and he's pouring into me. Mr. Belafonte, the artist, was exceptional. As a Calypso singer, he sold more than a million albums. His signature tune, Deo, the Banana Boat song, is still popular today. He's been awarded Grammys, an Emmy, a Tony Award, and an honorary Oscar. Well, you know, it's not for everybody. Everybody isn't cut out to be an activist, but those who are have the, the greatest example in Harry, you know, and with the organization also, you know, it, it, it's been put here to uplift our, us. From artist to activist, Mr. Belafonte is unapologetically black, shattering every racial barrier he encountered. He was a close friend of Dr. King until his dying day. He worked to end apartheid in South Africa and fought for the release of his dear friend Nelson Mandela. He knew the journey to get justice for black people would be long, expensive, and very dangerous, yet he stayed the course. It was Harry Belafonte who brought together a group of superstars to sing We Are the World. The benefit song raised millions to fight famine in Africa in the 1980s. Gina Belafonte and her father founded Sankofa.org in 2012. Its mission is to educate, motivate, and activate artists to get involved in issues of social justice and shine a light on the dark and damaging inequities hurting the oppressed and underserved. My father will always tell you that he was an activist before he was an artist. His mother ingrained in him as a domestic worker, as a woman coming from poverty, himself living in poverty as a young person. He became politicized in Harlem on the streets and the, and the, and the t stoops of Harlem. And so on this night, the Harry Belafonte alumni band moves the crowd with a familiar Caribbean melody. But also on this night, eight men and women are receiving the Harry Belafonte Social Justice Award for their commitment to social justice and change. Dr. Cornell West is among the honorees. He's the greatest living artist activist in the world. And he comes from a great people, a great black people. 95 years of a living legacy. Not many people living today can say they sat down with Paul Robeson had drinks with James Baldwin, prayed with Dr. King, walked with Mandela, and danced with Sammy Davis Jr. But Harry Belafonte can. He's black excellence, he's black history, and he's never stopped being black and proud. Mr. Belafonte was not here at the celebration. Instead, he watched it remotely from home. But his name was spoken over and over again, and it was done so with reverence respect and sincere appreciation for everything he's done and accomplished as an artist, an actor, and an activist. In New York, I'm Dre Clark for BNC.